Uh, hi friends, here's the one project which is I'm writing here or down here. So I'm getting some error, which is, error is really very uh, oh, annoying to me because while I'm writing this code, it is very simple code. So I'll show you first uh, what code I've written and what I'm expecting it. So this is the one of the calculator application, which is I can say if you can, uh, there are some of basic uh, classes which is a, not classes actually this is a uh, node.js project so if you can go for app.js app.js some boilerplate code will be there like express this is the boilerplate code for the using the express in node.js and the body parser for the any parser of the application and const app sorry and this is i'm going to use into the app and app.use should we use that parser this is the basic code this is the boilerplate code whenever you are writing any project in the uh, node.js using the parser at the time you need to write all these boilerplate kind of code and also this is one one of more uh, boilerplate code of kind of it because ultimately you will be getting uh, get method right so app.get and you are providing the root uh, path root path is nothing but like uh, in which uh, port you are uh, running at the time you are just passing the local host and the root path then you will get to know which page has to be rendered so this is an index.html right so if you can go to index.html response this is a request sorry request and response response dot send file uh, this you might know about all those things otherwise I'll let you know what it is meaning so ultimately it will going to send the whole uh, data means whole html file whatever code inside this it will render into this page while we are deploying into that particular port and server so uh, so this is the one get is method is there is app listen this was a body code so if you can go into that index.html if i click in or it so this is some uh, template code inside this uh, this whole code is template just apart from this which is i have written into this okay, i'll show relax i'll remove it and if you can click on control and space and you can see there are three different uh, so i'm just clicking on this html sample this is a html sample scheme now i'm going to write whatever code wa I am required to write so this is the one code from page I have written here right that's it so this form page is nothing but have an action action is on which page it has to be rendered so it is a root only, uh, root URL only and the what method I want to pass it because I'm passing some data and that data should be uh, not seen on that particular URL itself so that's why I'm using post so I'm posting the data as well. Two data fields, and in two numbers, number two, I'm giving already the name, right? Name, name. So it will be known as by their names and we'll be getting the data from the name only. So this is the first value. Placeholder is nothing but uh, uh, I'm mentioning it. How, uh, means if it is, we have not typed it anything, it should be, in the blur format it should be shown as a like enter first value so you can go and enter into this particular text field so i'll show you uh, what it looked like and there is only one button is there sorry cancel it so there is only button uh, one button is there which is a nothing but a submit button so i'm going to add so this is the one button while i'm clicking on it that data whatever data inside this two uh, input fields it is going to pass to this particular app.js if you can go to here app dot app dot post and this is again will going back to the root because i'm not changing the page and all so uh, function request response same only and yeah here i've already told you this data will be going to pass from this particular post only so inside rest request request dot body dot number so it will be known as why their name so if you'll go to here in that index, I given the name num1 and num2. So if you'll go to in uh, app.js, 
request dot body num one request dot body num two so these are the two values which is I am getting from this particular variable so variable a variable b I have created two variables now I am adding those variables why I am parsing why I am parsing yeah that is the one more important thing because whatever data inside this it will be known as a text only because I have already mentioned this is a text right so that's why data which is I am getting from these request dot body dot num1 and request dot body dot num2 that will be on string format only but now I need to change means I need to parse it so I have done the parser also number because I have already used this parser right body parser dot you are uh, you are these are boilerplate code so URL encoding so these are all things extended pro so here I'm getting the values a and value I got the values right now I'm going back to this variable I'm creating one more variable result which is going to plus a and plus a, a, a and b now I'm sending back to this result to the response as a response now we'll see what going to happen it I'm just saving everything because I had done the changes right so let me save save this as well okay I'm going to the browser now here's the browser I'm just refreshing continue not save sorry yeah this is the browser local 300 3000 so now I'm going to enter the values right 10 and 40 so it should be give us a 50 right click on it oh wow range error error http invalid status code so why we are getting this particular error why we are getting invalid status code the reason behind of this is the status code value is invalid because these are okay uh, let me open it so if you can see here i'm passing the value a plus b which is known as a result now i am using that response dot send this send is actually send the data in the format of a string only this result it is it is actually it is treating as a string but ultimately that's why status code is so you need to pass it some string format it should be treated as a string so either you can use this and you can provide some message like uh, uh, this is the result the value of added after that result is like that only so after that if i run it refresh it run it 40 20 and 50 it should be 70 without any error okay that's great we are getting the 70 that's it so this is the one thing which is i wanted to tell you uh, if you are getting invalid what was that invalid uh, status code then you have to be make sure while you are sending the data it should be treated as a string only thank you